Hello guys, welcome back. I hope you're doing great. So we're going to continue with the project that I talked to you um, on our last class. It's a project about identity and it's a project that we're going to use with Hebrew classes with Mora Lili. So if you guys have questions, you can ask me or you can ask her. So this project is about identity. And one of the things that helps us develop our identity is our family. So this project is about our family. We're going to make a house and on each window of that house, we're going to put one member of our family. So I'm going to show you how to make the house. And here's an example of how all the houses could look. So as you guys can see, you can use different colors and different textures for the walls, for the roof, for the details. You basically can do the house however you want. Okay guys, let's go get started. Okay guys, for this project, we will need several things. We're gonna need pencil, a paintbrush, scissors, tape, whatever kind of tape, a box of cereal, white paper, and things to color. So you guys can use pencils, you guys can use paint, you can use markers, and we're also gonna need glue. So first we have to open this box and cut it. Okay, so one of the big rectangles is going to be the house, and the other is going to be the roof. So, I'm going to do my house um, horizontal, but if you guys want to do it vertical, that's okay too. You guys can do it however you want. And now, I'm going to trace the shape of the roof that I want. I'm going to trace it here so I can cut it. So, I'm going to make a triangle. A big triangle. Okay guys, now it's time for painting. I'm gonna use um, paint because I think it's easier and faster. But if you don't have paint, you can go ahead and color it using markers or color pencils. Remember you guys can use whatever colors you want, either for the walls and the roof. Okay, so while I wait for this to dry, I'm going to take it away. So now I'm going to do the windows for my house. And each window has to have one member of my family. So if I'm going to draw my dad, my mom, my brother, and me, that means I'm going to do four windows. So you have to think, how many people does your family have? And you're going to draw that amount of windows. So if your family has five people, you're going to do five windows. If your family has more than that, then you have to do more windows. Okay, so here they are. My dad, my mom, my brother, and me. So I'm gonna color using markers, but remember that you guys can use uh, whatever you have at home and that you like. You can add details like curtains. Okay guys, now that I have my windows and my family ready, I'm going to go back to my house and I'm going to paste them using glue. Now I'm going to add more details like a door here. Ok 
Okay guys, so I'm adding these details to the roof of my house, but you guys can add whatever you want. Remember, you can use whatever colors you want and whatever textures you want. So you basically can do the whole house, including the roof, however you feel like it. Okay guys, so when you have your roof, your windows, and your door, you basically can add whatever details you want. You can put more windows, you can put flowers, you can put whatever decorations you want. And there you have it. Now you have your house completely built with one window for each member of your family. I can't wait to see yours, guys. Remember that when you finish this, you can send me a photo by email or classroom, or you can put it in your Padlet. But remember that this house, you're gonna need it for your Hebrew lessons with Moralili too. So please uh, keep it somewhere close. Remember that if you have any questions or comments, you can write me or you can write the Moralili. And that's all, guys. Bye-bye, take care.